Welcome to this video. I'm going to show a recording of the song very quickly with some explanations. Um, I have some templates I'm going to use. Um, this one is a uh, drum sequencer and it uses this uh, Jesus Sonic plugin called Sequencer Mega Baby. Uh, and it routes it to the um, uh, a drum set, which is resamplematic, uh, using some big mono samples, which are free. Anyone can download. Uh, I think it's Analog Drums is the company spelled the British way. Um, so here we go. I have a little controller set up, and it's uh, set up to record into Sequencer Mega Baby. Uh, so when I play things, they will get either added or removed. Um, I don't even have to hit record, I just hit play, and then I go. And if I get the things wrong, I can just hit them again to turn them back off. Except I'm missing. Uh, it's sort of a game you play, really. But you can also just go to wipe them out that way. So here we go. Let's do that again. Hmm. I'm normally pretty good at this. That'll be good enough. And here I'm going to use another template that has a bunch of routing to the Super 8 Jesus Sonic plugin, which uh, originally was made for live performance use uh, that was unstructured, but recently it's been updated to uh, do project synchronized uh, looping. Uh, which uh, allows you to have it follow the tempo of the project and automatically set the loop length according to the uh, click count and synchronize to the transport uh, when you're playing back, etc. So uh, I can do that and then I'm going to insert another template of uh, pulling from my pedal board, which has a bass plugged into it at the moment. So. Uh, So these loops in Super 8 are just temporary, they're only in RAM, and uh, you can add them to the project later, but you can uh, you can also just like load up uh, multiple ones uh, before you do that. So let me grab a guitar. Also normally uh, you have MIDI assignments for all of these things, controls, so you can do it from like a pedal board, which is what I normally do at home. All right, for the live setup, but for this I'm just using the mouse.
these loops that are just looping. And uh, what I'll do is I'll hit the Add to Project button, which then drops them in as files. And then I can just drag them down to the tracks that I had them routed to anyway. And then I can kill that and close it and it goes away. And now, now we have a project. Call this the base. Actually, we'll just create some new tracks for these things here just to give them some new identity. Base, guitar one, guitar two. Doing these arbitrarily. Wow, that's loud. Two minutes on twenty two seconds. So here I'm going to do two things at once, which is, uh, and I'll move this up here so we can see. Um, the uh, this sequencer baby is outputting to a track, and I'm going to go ahead and record that while uh, recording vocals. And uh, when I play things while it's recording, it's going to be modifying this and also recording, printing the output to a MIDI file. So this should be entertainment, entertaining for me. Here we go. Oh, 
sound What's the problem with say? MIDI, the recorded vocals. Uh, I need to extend the bass out and, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe we'll see how that looks like. Sing the song. good enough so let's render it well, I guess I should save it first Blanking on the date.
go. I just realized it's way too loud. Based on the uh, RMS meter, it's actually all right. Let's put a limiter on there anyway. And uh, we're done. The end. Goodbye.